Sagittarius, it's me, Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and do a two-week video to see what's going on in the next two weeks. So today's the 8th, so it's going to be until the 22nd. So I'm going to do for um, like this Monday going into the 22nd, so exactly two weeks. Love spread of what's going on. I got these new cards in the mail yesterday, so I'll be using them for you guys. It's the Soul's Journey. Okay, it's these like cards that have like words and stuff on them about you know, like self stuff like that, like how to get through situations, all that good stuff. I have a lot of cards here I'm using. I'm using my Lover's Oracle ones, the cute little heart shaped ones. I'm using the Psychic Tarot, Psychic of the Heart Tarot, um, Monology, Romance Angels, uh, those new ones. I'm using the Zodiac cards as well as the Tarot. So I'm going to get like a two week spread of what's going on in love for you guys. Okay, I got my orange aid, so I'm excited. It's like a little slushy. So, let's go ahead and get this started, guys. Um, thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brandon's got one, too, so he's not going to steal mine. So, um, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Um, as well as follow my Instagram, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off. Okay, I'm not going to start off with these yet. I'm going to just start off with the Psychic Tarot. Ooh, so, so, let's see what's in store for Sag in the next two weeks. Okay, Temptation. So, guys, you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or just somebody toxic in the next two weeks. Somebody, not really toxic, but somebody you have this, like, obsession with or someone that's just very hard to let go. I feel like this person is going to be kind of in your energy here. We all have that one person, you know, that they message you and it's like you're trying to stay away and it's like, uh, yeah, sadness and isolation. Okay, you could be sad because you're not around this person. Okay, they could pull like a tie to you where you always want to be around this person, but it's toxic. Okay, let's go ahead and get one of these, some of these new cards here. Make sure I got them shuffled, but... You could have a lot of sadness and isolation, feel like you're not really around this person as much as you want to be. It could be somebody you're very just attracted to. Okay, we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, so it's like you just want to kind of not know kind of much of what's going on. You don't really want to trust what's going on. Okay, one more. Indecision. So I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So this person could be very indecisive about you. Okay, so this could be a person that makes you feel sad. Okay, they could be like kind of in and out of your life. Could leave you with a lot of doubt where you don't really know the answers. As well as indecisive. Okay, so they make you feel indecisive, this person. Because maybe they're so toxic. They're not just, um, not really toxic, but they're just somebody that's not really sure what they want. Okay, they kind of just keep you stringing along. Let's go ahead and get a moonology. So, yeah, your dreams need a practical plan, okay? Full moon in Taurus. So, whatever you're dreaming about with this person, you need to make a plan. Like, make sure this is logical, like it makes sense, you know? What do you need to release, okay? As well as believe in the impossible. So, it's like you do need to release something here. All right, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So, maybe you and this person, you guys haven't had these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and that's something you need to release. You need to just tell this person how you feel. As well as love yourself first. Okay, so the next two weeks you guys need to focus on, like, loving yourself. Alright, as well as soulmate. Okay, so the death of this person, there's a lot of indecision, a lot of doubt about this. Because this is, like, your soulmate. This is somebody you actually want to be with. Okay, on the bottom we have unrequited love. You could feel like it's indecision of this person. That they don't feel the same about you. Maybe they're very, like, in and out of your life. Okay, but I feel like this person... They're not really consistent with their actions, okay? Alright, so we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So yeah, I feel like this person, when you guys are together, you love being around this person. They, they make you feel complete. It's not really an obsession, I'd say, but it's just that feeling where it's different than other people. You know, where you can be yourself. You guys have this like really kinetic energy. Alright, as well as balance, okay? So love is not always giving just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And maybe that's something you guys lack. Maybe you guys lack having 
balance having where you guys both kind of um support each other maybe it's more just kind of like you feel this person's giving to you you know or like you're giving to them you're not really balancing each other okay let's go ahead and get a breakdown of like what's currently going on and then i'll see the next two weeks what's likely to happen and make sure you just take what resonates okay don't like think that like all this is going to happen it could but just kind of take what you think could res resonate okay like what makes sense what doesn't so let's go ahead and get your side and then their side what's going on okay babe so on your side you have the four of cups reversed you got the ace of swords and the nine of cups let me move some of these cards out of my room Okay, on their side, they got the two of wands, the pain man, and the sun. Okay, so this person is still kind of stuck is what I'm saying. They're still kind of indecisive. So, okay, baby. So on your side, you have the four, okay, four of cups reversed, the ace of swords, nine of cups. You're wanting to be fulfilled. You're wanting the truth. You're, okay, babe, come on. You're wanting... Can you go in there? I see it. Can you go in there? Because you're distracting me or I can't talk. Nine of Cups. I know. It's a $100 puppet I got. Anyways, so. Okay, guys. I just want to talk. Okay. Four of Cups reverse. So, there's a sense where you are kind of open to this person. Okay. um, Where you want this person's attention. This person's love. You want the truth from this person. Okay. The Ace of Swords. You want them just to be honest. You want them to just confess and talk to you. You guys want communication from this person. Okay, the Nine of Cups, you do want to be happy and feel like you're being fulfilled by this person. So the Four of Cups, we do have the Three of Wands. So you are feeling hopeful about this, okay? You're waiting maybe for this person to come back around. There's still like that hope, I feel like. Like you know this ain't over, you know? Ace of Swords here. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So you want that communication to start so you guys can have better things happening. You guys want to have this conversation. You guys have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. I feel like you do want this um, conversation to happen so you guys can have better things with this connection. Okay, the Nine of Cups here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Because you're very passionate about this person, okay? You have a lot of attraction for this person. And that's the thing. It's like what I see about this is like usually the Queen of Wands has like a lot of other options. They're very attractive to other people. So I feel like you are like that. You have all kinds of other people you that have their eye on you, but you have your eye on one person. Okay, I feel like even though there's all these other people that notice you, you have your eye on one person. Okay, you want this love from this person. You want things to start here. Alright, so, with the Four of Cups reversed and the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups. So, there is still, like, a lot of waiting around. There's a lot of confusion in regards to this. Could also be that you guys maybe have other options as well, and you're kind of confused whether or not you should wait around for this person anymore, is what I'm seeing. So, okay. Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So you guys are stuck in your head because I feel like this conversation hasn't really happened yet. Or this person hasn't really confessed. You guys haven't had this new start of conversation, of communicating. And you're trapped about what you should do. Or maybe you're in a... You put this back on my and put it back in the freezer. Yeah. I'm in the lid. Can Here, can you put it back in the freezer? Thank you. Okay, so the Eight, eight of Swords here. So... I feel like you are stuck whether or not, like, what to do. If you should reach out, if you should talk to this person. You're kind of not sure what to do. Okay, Brian, I'll get it. Here, can you just go in there? I mean, I'm trying to do my video. Sorry, guys. I thought he could put it in the freezer and he just had it where it was, like, not shutting. So, anyways, the Eight of Swords here. So, you guys are stuck in your head whether or not you should reach out. Okay, kind of, I feel like you both are kind of like, should I reach out? Should she? Okay, or should they? Okay, with the Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, we do have the Knight of Cups. So, I feel like this person is wanting to come in, or they still do have emotions for you that they're wanting to express here. Okay, I feel like you guys want to express it with each other. Alright, so, on their side, they got the Two of Wands. So, they are still hopeful about this. They're still having to make a decision. 
And like I said, there was indecision in your guys' card. Oh, my. Sorry, guys. I forgot to turn my alarm off. Okay. So much going on already with the three of swords. So they're still having to make a decision even though it hurts. Okay. They're having to make a painful decision here currently. They're trying to figure out whether or not they want to move forward from this if they want to keep going. Okay. I feel like there is a lot of maybe pain because of this connection. They're trying to figure out what they should do. Okay. With the hangman, they're still kind of in a stuck energy with a five of cups reverse. Okay. But I feel like they're trying not to be sad anymore. Or they're not wanting to feel guilty about things that happened in the past, but they're still not seeing a better perspective. They're still not sure here. With the sun, um, we have the eight of pentacles reverse. So they are at a point where they're kind of happy with their life, but I feel like it's because they haven't really been focusing on this. Like they're trying to find happiness elsewhere is what I'm seeing. But I do feel like they still are thinking about you, about a decision and stuff, but I feel like they're trying to find happiness elsewhere. And I'm not saying with other people, I just mean like, they're trying to, like, not put a lot of stress into themselves by working on this right now. They're trying to find happiness somewhere else. Okay? Somewhere else in their life. With the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords. Okay, we do have the Four of Wands. So they are wanting to make this decision to move forward with you to have stability. Okay, currently this is how they feel. Even though it kind of hurts, like, maybe you guys had a painful breakup or painful things were said. They're trying to still make the right decision. But they still are kind of not deciding what to do. Okay. With the hangman and the five of cups reverse. We do have the star. Okay. So they are trying to be hopeful about the situation. Trying to move on from past situations. Maybe sadness that they felt with you. They're trying to move on from that and not be sad anymore. Maybe about things that happened. They're trying not to relive anymore. Not redo the past here. Okay, with the sun. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. You got the four of cups. This person, they're not trying to like block out this connection or ignore it but they're not really sure right now if they should put the work in they do want something here the four of wands and the star there is a lot of potential a lot of hopeful energy here but this person right now for whatever reason just feels like the right thing to do right now is not to really put much into this okay so let's go ahead and see how they truly feel about you Okay, let's see how this person truly feels. We'll do, like, how you guys feel about each other. Do you and then them. You get three shuffles. I'll see how you guys truly feel about each other. Let's see how you guys truly feel. See if you guys are wasting each other's time. If you guys actually feel the same way. Let's kind of see here. All right, so Sag, let's see how you feel about this person. Let's get three cards. How do you actually feel about this person? Okay, Nine of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords again. God. And the Emperor reverse. Okay, let's do them real quick. How's this person feel? Chariot reverse. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. Okay. So what I'm getting is from you, you're wanting to, here's all about opening up and talking. Like you want to open up with the nine of wands reverse. You want to let down your wall. You want to speak the truth. You want this person to talk to you. Okay. But you feel like it's out of your control at this point with the emperor reverse. You feel like you're out of control in regards to this communication happening. Maybe you've tried to text them. You've tried to talk to them. And for whatever reason, there's still not that communication coming through. I feel like you are open to it. And I feel like in the past, if you weren't, I feel like you are ready at this point now to have this truthful conversation about how you feel to them. What you feel like it's on their, you know, it's on their side at this point. Like, you've pretty much maybe done everything you could in regards to reaching out. You've tried texting them. You've tried messaging them on Facebook. You know, you've tried doing, I feel like, almost everything you could. And it's like, there's still nothing's happening. Okay, with the Nine of Wands reverse, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, you're wanting... To let down your walls. Anything that happened in the past in regards to this person, you're wanting to move on from it and have a new beginning, okay? Or have new things happen. You feel like you guys are ready for this new chapter with this person once you guys open up. All right, the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, we do have the Eight of Wands reverse. So, yeah, there is still not only block communication. I mean, that could be the thing, but there's definitely not communication or there is a distance between you guys, okay? There's this conversation that needs to happen because I've seen this twice already in your reading. So there's definitely a conversation that needs to happen. It just still hasn't happened for whatever reason. Somebody hasn't been reaching out. 
but the Emperor reversed, and it's, like, out of your control. Page of Swords, yeah, it's, like, you're still, like, waiting for this... It's, like, what maybe you try to communicate is, is maybe, like, a small little message. Like, you don't really go out of your way to actually have this conversation. You'll maybe say, hey, or what's up, or what are you doing, or, like, something small here. It's not, like, an actual, like, you're not going to be the first one to open it up and start the conversation. You're just going to say something kind of small, okay? It's like, just, like, a small line of communication. All right, the Nine of Wands reversed with the Strength in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I feel like you're not holding back anymore. Like you're just letting this all out. I feel like once you do have this communication with this person, you are just going to like tell them exactly how you feel. You're not going to hold it in anymore is what I'm seeing. I feel like you've maybe held back from this person a lot. You haven't said how you truly felt. Okay. Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands reverse. Okay, we do have the Emperor. So yeah, you want this person to take control. I feel like at this point, you feel like you want this person to take control. You want them to start the conversation. Okay, you want them to be in charge. Yeah, with the Emperor Reverse for you and the Page of Swords, I feel like you feel like you've lost control. There's nothing really else to do. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's like it's their turn to come in and they're taking too long. Okay, maybe they're taking too long to talk to you. They're taking too long to reach out, to do something here. Okay. Alright, on their side, how they feel with the Chariot in Reverse. So they definitely feel there isn't much movement with you guys, okay? With the Eight of Cups, they feel a sense of somebody walking away. Whether it's you or them, they feel like somebody walked away from this. Someone's detaching their feelings, okay? Wheel of Fortune reverse. But they feel like it's not over with you guys, though. With the death. Look, it's not over, but something needs to end, okay? They, need to, they feel like something needs to end here. Alright, with the Queen of Wands reverse... They could feel like you don't feel, like, as strongly for them as you used to. Like, maybe you're not really, because you're not reaching out or saying much. Yeah, the Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, they feel like you're not talking to them, that like you're mad at them. That you don't maybe feel the same way about them anymore. They feel like this might be over. Like, maybe you don't have the same feelings for them anymore. Maybe they feel like you've walked away with the Eight of Cups reverse. They feel like you walked away. You haven't been talking to them. All right, so the Chariot Reverse, Eight of Cups. This is, like, on the, this person, they're just, like, really sad. Okay, with the Seven of Wands, they feel like they need to fight for this still, okay? Or they feel like things are blocked between you guys, like, the communication's not really there. You guys blocked each other out of your lives. You guys aren't really talking. But I feel like they still are kind of, like, fighting for this, okay? Or fighting for you to stay. Will of Fortune Reverse and the Death here. Okay, you got the High Priestess Reverse. This person feels like you're keeping your feelings. Yeah, oh my gosh. So yeah, this person feels like you're keeping secrets from them. I feel like they know that you, like maybe they know how you truly feel and you've just been like hiding how you feel. And that's why they feel like you've walked away because you haven't opened up your feelings. They know that you're hiding something. Okay? With the Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, the Six of Cups reverse. So they feel like you are walking away from this connection that you don't feel the same way. That you want to leave it in the past. You don't want to move forward with this person. That's how they feel about you. They feel like Mommy, you don't want to move forward. What, babe? It's also just like Columbia. Oh, yeah. What? So they feel like you, this person is like having a lot of sadness about this connection. I feel like on your end, you're waiting to hear from this person. But this person's like taking it as if you just don't want to talk to them. But it's like you're waiting for them. Okay? I feel like this person's taking it as in you're hiding from them. Like how you feel. You don't want to talk to them. You're over you know, you're over the connection. You don't feel about it anymore. But I, I don't think that's true. I feel like you guys still have a lot of feelings for this person. You're just kind of waiting. I feel like this is a sense where it was the same. It was only you putting in the effort. I feel like that's why you're kind of just like slowly losing, not really interest, but you're slowly pushing your energy back. Because you're waiting for this person to be the first one to make the initiative, you know? Okay. Let's do the, um, actions they plan on taking on the both of your sides okay both sides here actions you guys plan on taking this should be interesting in the next two weeks so actions you guys plan on taking in the next two weeks i'll do your side their side i'll do three cards and clarify each one all right sag let's see what you have two of swords reversed 
Ace of Swords again. Oh my god, this is the third time this came out for you. Seven of Wands reverse. Okay. On their side, they have the Emperor reverse. The Chariot reverse again, and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. God, this person is stubborn, is what I see. Okay. I feel like they've lost control of what to do. They've lost movement in regards to this. Of this going somewhere, it's like they've lost the movement. They're, like, not putting the movement in. But they still are, like, wanting things to happen. They're still, you know, or, like, wanting to be in your life. They still want this to continue. On your side, you have the Two of Swords reverse. So I feel like you're just going to say, screw it. At this point, you're sick of the indecision. You're, I feel like you're, at this point, you're just going to let your guard down. You're going to be like, you know what? I'll just make the first move. I feel like you're going to say, screw it. Maybe you'll even show up to their house and be like, you know what? Here, listen, buddy. You know? <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but I feel like you guys are starting to get really ticked off. You're like, I want this conversation. I want this conversation. And it's like, they still aren't doing it. So you're like, you know what? That's fine. I know where you live at. I'm just going to show up to your house. I feel like it's that kind of energy where that's what us Sagittarius do. Like, if you make us mad or make us where we don't get our way, we'll just say, you know what? That's fine. I'll just go ahead and show up at your door and you'll have to talk to me, you know? Break into their window. <laughs> we can be a little crazy. So don't test us. I feel like you really want this conversation. You're like, you know what? I'm sick of this back and forward movement. I'm just going to talk to you then. All right. So two of swords reverse on Sag's side of the actions. Three of wands reverse. Yeah, they're starting to, you're starting to give up on this. You're starting to lose hope. So you're sick of the indecision. You're starting to kind of lose hope in regards to this. You're not waiting around much longer is what I'm seeing. You're like, that's fine. Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, I don't feel like you are going to be very quick, like I said, with the conversation. But I feel like you are wanting to at least come in. You know, maybe try to come in kind of slow here. You're not going to, like, rush in with conversation. But I feel like you are going to send a message. Maybe you're going to send a message and then kind of delete it. Or, like, reread it for, like, an hour and then send it. That's what I'm seeing. But you are. I feel like you're going to be the first one making the move unfortunately it's like this person knows like you will that's the bad thing i thought like this person knows you're always the first one to take action so they're just letting you do it like you know what this is all on you and that's annoying seven of wands reverse okay you got the five of cups yeah this person's making you sad how they're not talking to you. you're starting to you know f feel like you can't fight for this much anymore you just want this communication because it's making you sad not speaking to this person all right two of swords reverse three of wands reverse Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, you don't feel like you're not waiting around much longer because you're not feeling happy. You're not feeling fulfilled by this person. You're there's just a lot of waiting, a lot of indecision. Okay, you're sick of feeling like things are indecisive. And you even got that card when I did your reading in the beginning of the mess, the beginning of the video. All right, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords reverse. The Emperor reverse. Yeah, you feel like you're starting to like lose hope in this. You're losing, like, your power. You feel like it's out of your hands. Like, yeah, you're going to communicate. I feel like you are going to make the conversation. But you feel like you didn't, it's not up to you. Like, it's not your place to make this conversation. Okay? And you're starting to lose, kind of, your control of this here. All right, with the Seven of Wands reverse, Five of Cups, I do see the Eight of Cups. I feel like you are going to be sad and you are going to get to a point where if you're not getting the conversation or the message you want, you know, I feel like you are going to maybe eventually just detach your feelings and walk away, is what I'm seeing. It's like, you know what, this, maybe this person, you feel like it's out of your control. Maybe you're going to change your mind. You're going to decide you want to talk and then just d decide like you don't want to. You're like, you know what, if it's going to be this much work, I'm not dealing with it. That's kind of what I get from you guys. You're just like, you know what, if it's going to be like this much of a big deal to like put in my effort, I just don't know if I want this anymore. If it has to be on me to do it, I'm just not going to do it. Like, you want things to come to you. Like, I know I'm that way. I don't really like to force conversation. I feel like I'm bothering people. I don't like to go out of my way and text somebody. I like them to talk to me. And it's like, you know, if this isn't going to happen, then I'm just going to give up on this. All right, your person's actions of the Emperor reverse, they're kind of losing control, too. Okay, with the Hermit. So they are, I feel like this person's trying to be logical in regards to this. They're trying to get all the answers, the knowledge, trying to see exactly what to do. And that's why it seems like they're losing control. They're kind of in their head right now trying to figure out what to do. So, with the chariot in reverse, they're still not movement with this person. Or they're still not taking action. With the four of swords, yeah, they're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. Maybe trying to think about themselves in this point. 
like what they should do if they actually want this logically like do i actually want this connection how do i truly feel you know we'll fortune reverse here yeah six of swords reverse this person doesn't want to walk away okay they don't want to leave this there's a sense where they're not wanting to walk away they're not wanting to move on they still i feel this person still thinks about you a lot okay with the emperor reverse and the hermit you do have the two of cups in reverse so yeah they know logically they feel like there is a disconnect in your guys's energy that you guys are at this disconnect okay and they're trying to figure out like what to do to fix that they feel like it's out of their control to fix anything all right with the chariot reverse four of swords yeah we have the ace of wands reverse so they aren't yeah this person is not taking control they're not putting this in okay if anything they're kind of staying to their self right now but with the wheel of fortune reverse six of swords reverse they don't want to walk away yeah, with the Nine of Wands reverse, they do want to open up to you. They do want to open up, feel like they can trust you, okay? They, they, I think they do have a lot of trust with you. That's why they don't want to walk away. They have trust in this that, you know, that they trust that their intuition, that the right thing to do is not walk away. But they still aren't putting action in. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's see what the outcome is for you and this person <clears throat> for the next two weeks. And I'll get both of your sides here. All right, so nine of cups on your side. Let me get one more shuffle. All right, so you got nine of cups. Okay. All right. Outcome. Okay, the star in reverse on your side. As well as the eight of swords. Yeah, you still are, like, being fulfilled by this person. There's a lot of indecision. A lot of stress here. On their side, they have the five of cups, the chariot reverse again, the fool. So they could be dealing, they could be dealing with... Um, a cancer here or an Aries okay so on your side you have the nine of cups the star of reverse eight of swords you're still in your head about this person a lot okay maybe you're not sure how you feel about this person anymore you're not sure if you're feeling hopeful in the outcome like you are like in love with this person you love being a being around them being with them with the nine of cups you do feel fulfilled in some aspect but you still are like not, not sure how you feel if you truly are happy if this is truly what you're wanting, this connection is what I'm seeing. A lot of indecision. Okay, so that's your main problem with this connection. A lot of, like, not sure. A lot of uncertainty. Alright, so why is Nine of Cups here in the outcome of you and this person? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you... It's like you're, ha like, happy, but you're also to the point of... You're not sure, like, whether or not you want to walk away from this. If you just need... If it's time to walk away. You keep feeling the sense of walking away. Like, giving up too quickly. I feel like if things aren't going like the way you want them to, you're just going to be like, okay, that's, that was fun while it lasted. Bye-bye. You know, get your boots on and leave. The star reversed. Okay, we do have the eight of swords reversed. So you are wanting to get out of your head about something here, about this uncertainty. You're wanting to release that. You don't want to be in this point where you're trapped in your thoughts about what to do. All right, eight of swords here for you. Knight of wands reverse. So I feel like you... Or stressing because maybe this person hasn't came in passionately. You haven't seen this person. You feel like maybe you guys don't have passion for each other anymore. You're stressing about that. Or it could just be the fact that this person's changing their ways. And that kind of starting to stress you out. Maybe uh, this person used to be a player. And now they're starting to actually want to be with you. And now that's kind of stressing you out. Alright, with the Nine of Cups... Eight of Cups here. Oh my god, we have the Knight of Swords. The outcome is that they are going to come in and talk to you. I think this person, once you start looking like you're losing interest and leaving, this person's going to rush in and start talking to you. They're going to be like, no, don't you leave. Like, where are you going? No, you have to stay. Okay, with the Star Reverse, Eight of Swords Reverse. Yeah, we got the Page of Wands Reverse. So I feel like you're not putting the effort in anymore. Okay? You're like, you know for a fact that it's not going to go anywhere if you put in the effort. Okay, so I feel like this person's coming in because they are like, you know, I don't want you to leave. And they realize, like, you haven't put any more effort into this no more. You're just kind of, like, not messing with this anymore. With the Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Reverse. Okay, we do have the Hierophant. So I feel like there is going to be where this person is wanting to maybe commitment with you. And that's stressing you out. Like, you didn't realize. Yeah, because before that we had the Knight of Wands, Reverse. So the Knight of Wands in the upright, someone's usually kind of in and out that's inconsistent. Someone that's like a player. Very, you know, they're into like, you know, being intimate, stuff like that. But I feel this person, they are changing that. 
they don't want that anymore. They want to, like, commit to you. And I feel like that's freaking you out. This person wants to talk to you. Okay. Outcome of them. Yeah, because they're sad with the Five of Cups. Outcome is they're sad. Okay, why is the Five of Cups here? I don't like seeing people sad. Yeah, the Six of Swords reverse. They're not wanting to walk away. I feel like you made this person sad. Like, not meaning to, but, like, maybe just the fact how things are going. It's making them sad. And they don't want to leave. All right, with the chariot reverse. Yeah, you got the nine of wands in reverse. They want to open up to you. There's not forward movement, but they do want to open up to you. Okay? This person trusts you. They want to be with you. They want to open up. With the fool, they want, like, a new beginning with you. They want things to, like, you know, start over. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles. They feel like you're focused on yourself. They want this new beginning, but they're, they feel like you're focused on yourself or your money right now. Or they see like you're being single and you're kind of enjoying it. And they're not really liking that too well is what I'm seeing. Alright, the Five of Cups and then the Six of Swords reverse. Oop. The first one that came out was the Hermit. So, this person's doing a lot of thinking about you. They're doing a lot of, you know, trying to figure out what's practical in this connection. Like what's actually going on, how they truly feel, what's the right thing to do. With the chariot reverse, or the, yeah, chariot reverse, nine of wands reverse. Okay, we have the king of wands reverse. This person feels like you're not, like, into them anymore. They don't feel like you feel attractive about them. They feel like they're defeated. That they've, maybe they're missing out in regards to you. They're missing out somehow in regards to you. With the fool and the nine of pentacles. We have the lovers in reverse. They feel like you, oh, that's sad. So they feel like they want this new beginning with you, but you're kind of, there's a disconnect because you want to be single. They feel the outcome is this person realizes maybe you want to be single or they want to be single. Somebody here wants to be single, but I don't feel like it's your person. I feel like they know that, they think you want to. They think you're walking away wanting to be single. And that's why they feel a disconnect. They don't feel as, like you're as passionate about them anymore. Okay. So sad. Just take what resonates. Let's go ahead and see what sign Jace could be dealing with. I got a lot of water here strongly. Mostly the cancer, so you could be dealing with the cancer. Let's see, guys. Let's get a couple of cards. Because I got a lot of the, the chariot here a lot. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, cancer is the first one that flew out. Shoot. I said, oh, you could be dealing with one, then it flies right out. Like, yep. They're like, yeah, you are dealing with it. Let's see who else you could be dealing with, guys. Okay, we got Capricorn. Because that was the first card that came out, the Temptation. So maybe a Gemini. We kept getting the Lovers. And then also Scorpio, but Cancer, as soon as I was like, oh, you could be doing the Cancer because the chariot flew out. And then it's just like, boom, there's the Cancer card. So, guys, make sure you um, take what resonates. Comment down below if you like the video. Make sure to give me a like, um, subscribe, all that good stuff.